Okay, so today I wanted to show the single um, bottle filler. This is a carbonated or non-carbonated filler. Uh, let's go ahead and demo it. This will fill just for your regular beer bottles um, to bigger bottles with big, big bases to your standard cocktail bottle. It'll even also fill what our bread and butter is, small bottles. All you would have to do is adjust this backstop. Right now it is set up for this. Um, but let me demonstrate it for you. We are going to go ahead and fill a carbonated beverage. That is the harder one. Our pump is self-priming, so it does not need CO2 to actually fill this. Uh, so you can actually run it with CO2 or without if you want to um, ferment your bottles uh, naturally. So anyway, I want to show you this. Uh, we're going to fill up this pitcher with some carbonated beverages. You can see the foam. Open up another one here. Hopefully some of this foam will go down here for the fill. And we'll probably do like a half. With these pumps, all you have to do is stick the end of the tubing into the vat you want to fill. Why the foam's going down here a little bit, you do have a display of your how much you are actually filling into the bottle. You have your timer here, which will be how much the bottle is going to purge on CO2. You have an up and down to control uh, the nozzle going down in and up. You have a power switch and buttons over here to control your pump. Um, let's go ahead and we are first going to prime this pump. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the nozzle in the, in the vat here. And I'm just going to stick this beer bottle up here and I'm just going to manually fill this until we fill up our tube. Alright, so we are primed and we are ready to go. So this first one, let's go ahead and fill it. So I put the bottle down there. I go ahead and turn it on. It's going to purge with CO2 and then it's going to fill the bottle. This first one might be a little foamy just because of there could still be a little air still in the line. So I'm going to go ahead and redo it. You usually want to do that whenever you are starting the batches. This next one should go a lot better here. Here we go. And let's do one more. And after this one, I'll kind of show you how you can turn up your um, volume here. And we'll actually fill the bottle all the way up if, if this is off a little bit. Usually I like to run it a few times just to make sure there's no foam in this tubing. And that it is just filling liquid. You can kind of still see there is a little bit of bubbling going on. So what I'm going to do right here, we have this dose at 230. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of volume to it. Let's go ahead and just put it to 250. Hopefully this won't be enough for this. Actually, we'll go, uh, we're going to go 240. I don't want to overfill this guy. Alrighty. So everything is electronically controlled. You're not going to go by eye. You're not going to go by anything like that. Once this pump is set at the right volume you want, um, it'll repeat that every time. And you can see we just made the, the bottle fill a whole lot easier this way. 
or a whole lot more. Um, if you have any questions on this system or uh, would like to purchase one, please go to www.rockymountainplc.com and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, and if you have any questions, please contact me directly. Thank you.